Lake County Captains fans. My name is Vance Law. I'm the bench coach for the Lake County Captains. And one of my main responsibilities is working with the infielders. Today I was going to give you a couple of drills that we use to help our young infielders. The first thing though, before we get to the drill, is I wanted to talk about the pre-pitch setup. Too many times when I watch young players play, they are standing like this when the pitcher's ready to throw the ball and they're not ready to move. It's real important that you get yourself into a position where you can explosively go after the baseball. That starts with your feet about shoulder width apart, left foot if you're a right-handed right -handed player, your left foot is slightly in front. You have your knees bent, and your rear end is down with your back kind of at this angle. Your glove is at your side this way, prepared to move right or left, depending on where the ball's going. As the pitcher starts to throw, you get into this position, you can have nice easy movements like this, and as the ball enters the hitting zone, you simply can raise your heels so that you can move right to your left, or to your right. The first step should always be lateral, meaning to the side. It shouldn't be directly towards there unless you can read the ball is a swinging bunt or something that's hit very, very softly. So once again, get into a nice balanced position, slight movement, knees bent, rear ends down, back is at an angle, and as the pitch enters the hitting zone, a slight heel lift, up and then you can move. That's what we we think is very very important for young players to learn early on. Now we will move into a drill that we like to call the hand circuit drill. This drill called the hand circuit drill is to help you to be able to move your hands the right way. If it's on the glove side, if the ground ball is on the glove side, or the forehand side, the glove is always exposed here. A lot of times players will try to feel the ground ball with their wrist in a flex position. It's important that you extend and expose the entire glove to where the ball is going to be. On the backhand side, a lot of times guys won't open the, the glove far enough, so it's really important that you expose the glove here as well. So I'm going to just show you some of the basic ones you have to have a, a friend of yours or a parent or a, a brother or sister just roll the ball and it's just working this way. The short hop drills where again it's very important that we extend the wrist, expose the glove so the glove is there. Too often players will try to cup the glove and that causes the ball to shoot up when you try to catch it. Again, expose it. Okay, very good. So it's important as we do it's important as we do these drills that you're aware of where your glove position is. If the ball's on the right side of your body, the backhand side, make sure you expose the glove and feel through the ball. Thank you very much, and I hope that we get to see you at the baseball field later this summer.